Building our settler now. There we go. More people. You know what? Build me a worker. I want to get somebody to build a road to those horses down there. If you haven't played this game, I highly recommend um, picking it up somewhere. I don't know, there might be torrents on the internet, or, uh, you know, you could probably get it pretty cheap off of, like, Amazon or something. It's probably one of the best computer games ever made, in my opinion. Let's go uh, get some chariots and whatnot. Is this desert? Okay, sometimes if it's floodplain, then that'll uh, give you diseases as well, which isn't good. It starts killing off your people, obviously. We'll keep going this way. I'm surprised that this is a pretty big island. I'm surprised I haven't come across any uh, people that I don't want to be here yet. I like to have my barbarians raging because it makes things more interesting early on. Otherwise, you'd just be walking around. It's kind of boring that way. Uh oh. This guy's gonna try and beat me up. There you go. Oh, that's weak. Come on. Sometimes it's really easy to get uh, really angry at this game because, you know, if you have something really obvious like a, uh, you know, say a tank. For example, a tank has like what? Uh, I think it's 16. Yeah, 16 attack. And so you have um, you're attacking a warrior, which has one defense. Your tank can still lose, which is you know that's pretty unrealistic and pretty uh, you know like seriously, what are the chances of that? It seems like the um, the chances of that happening are way higher than actually the numbers indicate, which is uh, you know kind of annoying. You'll probably see that a lot later, it happens to me all the time. Hopefully you can hear all the sound effects, I don't know. Because uh, I couldn't get the, um... I couldn't get Hypercam to record off my, uh... You know, just off the sound card inside there, but... Whatever. This works great if it doesn't, I don't know. You don't really have to hear a warrior beating up a horse guy, do you? Uh, why not another worker? Too many spearmen. I figure out what those little white things are. What is that? Oh, if there's a white thing on it, that means there's another shield on there. I think it has to do with building stuff. Alright, here we go. Automate that, I guess. If you press Control N, you get uh, the worker to build a road to all the cities. They're all connected. That's what I told that guy to do. So we got horses up there. I don't know how long it's been yet. I was I was gonna try to make it like you know just do ten minutes each day or something like that. I'm probably not just gonna you know do this for the rest of forever. I'm gonna probably do some reviews in between, take some breaks from this on and off. You know. Okay, we have iron. That's good. Yeah. 
One's enough, I guess. Now we got two. Okay. Very good. Um, <clears throat> we have the Colossus building here. That's what you call a wonder. If you right click on it, you know, wonders do some little things for you. Like here, uh, Colossus causes its city to produce one extra commerce and every square that already produces at least one. And it only can be built in a coastal city. So, let's see. The coast makes commerce, so the Colossus will put another one in there. I think commerce contributes to your, um, how much is the city, the city's gold is coming to the, you know, whole treasury of the entire nation. I don't know. Towards the end, I just kind of max out everything, like, technology-wise. If you go up here, if you increase this, you know, you uh, contribute more money to the science. And then, uh, you know, it takes less turns to complete a, a technology. Towards the end, I don't think it really, it doesn't matter if you have nothing in your treasury for whatever reason. Um, unless that's just on the easy mode, I don't know. Because I remember in, um, what was it, Civ 2, if you didn't have enough money, they'd start disbanding uh, units. They might do that, but I don't think they ever did that. I mean, it was probably just because it was an easy mode, but we'll see. A lot of gas, and bur I'm trying to uh, talk and burp at the same time, and it's not working out. Ever since the uh, last review of this I did, that was probably the last time I played Civ 2. Because, uh, shortly after that, my laptop, what, I don't know, crashed. It got the blue screen of, what, what do you call it, blue screen of death, like the red ring of death, but except with a computer. And, uh, I haven't been able to fix that, so, um, and I still can't remember where I put the CD, so I think, I think my brother might have it, though, so I'll have to ask him. Unless I can find a torrent somewhere. There's nothing going on. I forgot, I have to get somebody up there to explore. I'll build a chariot, man. So we can move around quicker. Some civilizations start out with a scout. Which is just like a... It has two movement and then it can attack or defend itself. Like a settler or worker, except it moves two squares. Like somebody who's on a horse or a samurai. Not on a samurai, but a unit that is a samurai. Um, alright. It doesn't really matter what order you go in early on, because you, you kind of just get everything eventually, but here you might want to prioritize a little bit in the Middle Ages, and then, you know, there's some more important things you have to get to first to have an upper hand against your competitors. Alright, let's go explore. Woo! Like I said before, I'm surprised that nobody else is on this island with me, because I think there's like 16 other uh, civilizations just on the map, the entire map on the lower left. And my island takes up a good portion of that, so that's kind of surprising. It's kind of... oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh! Huh. It's kind of funny sometimes you come across like the like these I think it was the Americans in the last game I played. Actually, they had like the smallest island ever, and they had four cities on there. And then you have you have guns, and then they still have archers because for whatever reason they don't research as fast when they don't have any cities. But um, so that's kind of funny. We have a civil disorder. I'm not paying attention. Oh, it fixed itself. What do you know? God. Alright, go beat him up. It has the same attack and defense as a warrior, but it moves faster because it's a horse, you know. I'll just stay right there. Only weird thing is, um, you know, you can't really think of barbarians, you know, nowadays, but 
in this game when you when you're you know in the industrial ages and you have guns and everything, if there are still barbarians around, there's still just going to be warriors and horsemen, which is kind of uh, a little weird. But um, I don't know. Jubilee barracks. If you have barracks in your city, um, it increases the rank of your uh, unit just right away without having to be promoted. It starts out as a veteran or with four uh, health bars. Goes conscript, regular, uh, veteran, and elite. Elite is five, conscript is two. 